So 2019 is fast approaching and then we try to get in ourselves prepared for that. So how about we start this with a 2019 calendar design in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thanks so much for coming back again. So today we're going to look at how to design a calendar that is 2019 calendar for your business or anything, being it a school, family, anything. I'm going to structure this in such a way that you can actually use the design for anything like your business, work, family, everything. Okay, so we are going to make use of this um, template calendar that I grabbed from Calendar 360. I'll put the link in the description so you check it out. Okay, so let's get started. Now, let's go to file and then create a new document. I don't know how you're going to create, but I'm using A3 over here. Okay, so I'm going to create an A3 size paper. And then I'm going to view and then new guidelines. So I'm basically going to add some guidelines that, it, that will guide me in creating this. Okay, so it is, in, I want it in the vertical form. And then I'm going to type in 50%. Okay, so I'll click OK. And then I have this line. So it means that, this particular document has been divided into two all right so i'm just going to grab my rectangle tool over here and then i'm going to draw a rectangle across this line probably here you just have to figure out how you how long you want your calendar to be okay so this is the particular color that i'm using this is the color that i'm using so you click ok and then what next we're going to also create another rectangle like a small one over here just like this so you create another rectangle over here now what we're going to do is we're going to take a first rectangle and then we're going to right click and then we go to rasterize basically we, we want to cut a part of this rectangle but then if it is a shape and it is not rasterized you can't actually do that that is why we take the time to rasterize this all right so next i'm going to pick my polygonal laxo tool over here this is not restricted to polygonal laxo tool you can actually make use of either the paint tool or any cutting tool that will be available for you right but i prefer using the polygonal laxo tool probably you might you might know the reason why all right so we grab the polygonal laxo tool and then i'm coming to start from this place okay so i left click and then i hold shift just to give me a very straight line i can go like this but then um I might not get a very straight or sharp edge line okay so if i hold shift it gives me just a straight line over here so you see the reason why we added the guideline so when i reach here i probably want to stop and then i will left click and then i'll go this way so probably this way and with that to the diagonal way you hold shift and it gives you a very perfect diagonal like that okay so i just want to go like probably here and then i hold shift so that it gives me a very good diagonal like that and then you left click and then you can cut this part off so you just come back to square one and then you delete that part so we have this shape created over here i think it, it looks nice all right so let's go ahead and now add this particular uh, calendar template to it so like i said i grabbed this from calendar360.com all right reserved to them because if you have to take our time to make this single by single i i'm sure we're going to take the whole of this year to do this okay so uh what i'm going to do is i have this image that i grabbed and then i'm going to select my rectangular market to over here so i'm going to make a selection of probably january so from here so you can just zoom in just to get everything correct now what you're going to do is that you are going to okay so let me make the selection again so like from here so there i'm sure i get it correct all right so i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate of this okay and then i'm going to send it over to my document so i have this over here okay we are not going to actually fix all the dates here so this probably this design will fit very well for a corporate or if you are using it for a family like series of calendars like series of 
printed calendars okay so we are going to try to fix about three or so three uh, calendar that is from january to march over here and then if you are doing this consecutively for different types of um let's say pictures you fix the other ones on the other part of the calendar all right so we we are in here we are going to press ctrl t and then we're going to increase this calendar that is what we brought in let me zoom in so that you get an idea so we have this over here so you take your time to position it over here like that now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to bring in another guideline this time around i don't want it to be specific so i can come to this area or this part of photoshop and then when i left click and drag i'll get my guideline over here so i want it around here and then i'll drag another one to this area why am i doing this because you're going to bring another um, let's say another copied template of a, a calendar and then we are going to send it over in but we want to maintain the size we want to so we want something that will guide us okay so i have this over here and then i get back to my rectangle i'm going to undo i'm doing this in photoshop and cs6 so i'm going to use Control alt and then z to undo just to get back my original uh, my original template and then i'm going to zoom in again to probably get this line so you you take the process you used to do the first one to actually do the second one okay so i'm going to fast forward this area just to make this video a bit short okay now once you are here you just have to press ctrl t and then you increase the size like that okay so you can zoom in and then you make sure that you have these at the very edges like according to the guidelines so we have this exactly here probably i'm sure it is in line okay so you just have to make sure it is in line that is it but you see it has crossed the line i'm sure you're getting the point it has crossed the line so what we're going to do is we're going to select the two of these things and then we're going to press ctrl t to adjust them very neatly like that so we can probably place them over here and then we can separate them like that so we have one here and then one there so you just have to take your time to do all these things very neatly and nice like here so we got this over there right so the next one i'm just going to bring in the match and then i'll place it over here it basically takes the same process so i'm going to fast forward this area and then i'll get back to you okay so let me explain this part so i have this guideline set for me all right so over here i'm going to drag another guideline from this on top over there if you don't have the guidelines or probably the rulers you're just going to press ctrl r to bring them on okay so i'll drag this over here just to give me a clue that i want this one to be at the same size as, as that one so i'll press ctrl t and then i'll transform that one also so i can basically bring it over here first one to make sure that it is just in line with it like that and then i can send it over to the side so probably they are all on the same line just like that okay now we can group these three and then we name them say uh, calendar template or the actual calendar template okay so calendar template over here that is because if you want to add the rest of the calendars you probably can just get rid of this let's say the first batch and then you bring in the second batches i hope the concept is gotten all right so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to I'm going back to select my rectangle okay and then i'm going to right click go to blending options i'm just going to style this a little bit so i'm going to add a gradient overlay select my gradient and then over here i'm going to use the same color that i used that is the same color okay so that is the color and then the next one that is the white one i'm going to change that to the same color also but this time around i'll go up a little bit so i have this okay so from here you can see that there is a difference between the upper part of this you can actually maintain in this way so i just decided to go a little bit so i'm going to reverse this and then i'm changing the style to radial and then i'm going to reverse this 
and then I will scale it up a bit so that it will be like, like a shiny part on here. So I'll click OK and then I can right click, copy layer style and send it over to this rectangle and then paste the layer style over there. So it basically gives it the same style as this. Okay, so we're going to turn this one also off. All right, so next let's go back to our calendar. Now we want to actually add some eclipse to this. Okay, so I'm going to select the eclipse over here and then I'm going to create an eclipse. I actually can use the, the stroke to stroke around, but I just decided to use this part i think i i feel much more using this than using the stroke so you can just resize this a little bit but i'm going to make a duplicate and then i'm going to increase this a little more that will serve as the stroke so i'm going to give it a color i'm not sure i'll have the same colors but i'm going to give the, this one the first color over here and then i'm going to select the two of them make a duplicate and try to resize it. So I have it over here like this and make another duplicate like that. So I'll try to resize this one also smaller like this, but then I'm going to give them different colors like this. So I'm going to select the second one that is this one. And then I'm going to also give that one to a color. So I'm going to probably go this way let me come this way so something like that okay so i click ok and then i'll group all those ones also so you select all of them press ctrl g and then i can group them as um, eclipse or circles okay so we have the circles over here now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to place in the images so if you come over here and you right click it is going to give you the eclipse that is the eclipse copy one so if you select that the group opens and then we basically group to um to decrease the number of layers that we are going to have okay so this is our first eclipse and then we're going to place in the images so you go to file and then place and then you can place your first image i decided to use jackie Appiah as my first image now it opens like this for you since we are directly placing this inside the eclipse we're going to right click create clip masking and it directly places the image in the eclipse as beautiful as this so you can do the same thing for the rest of the images so you come you select the the particular eclipse you can turn off and on this one to verify and then you go to place and then you place your image i would have to fast forward this area and i'll catch you so i've placed my images over here so you see if i if i group it once again this this we have this placed at one area and then if you look at here you can see that we have barely like four layers but we have as many layers as we want and the next one is test so we are going to place all the tests also in another group okay so i'll select my test tool and then over here i would add a test to it so let's say calendar and then 2019 so um, um, I'm going to change the color over here to white so that it can be very visible okay so let's correct this calendar 2019 and then I'll transform this very neatly like that okay so let me change this thing I made a mistake here so calendar 2019 okay so basically what I we are trying to say is that if you have let's say a name for your work or let's say you are doing this for a business you can actually place the name over here but for the sake of this tutorial let's leave it this way so calendar 20 and i will duplicate that and bring it over here you can add some sort of shadows or whatever you want to add to this but then i decided to keep mine just like that okay so i don't want to make this very complex at least for the sake of beginners okay so calendar 2019 let me edit this one to calendar design so over here you can actually add a, some different tests if you are doing this for 
a company or something like that you can actually add a different test over here it is just for it is just there for test only right i'll put the final calendar in the description so you can download the psd template of this and then you try to make changes to this okay so lastly we're going to try some something and then we're going to add let's say social media handles and then probably our email just for contact so we are going to add our contact over here so i'm going to select the test also and then the color i'm using white i'm still using acrobat but this time around let me go semi bold and then i will add my contact lines okay all right so over here this is my facebook id my instagram my contact and then my email now you can actually add the their symbols let's say facebook symbol instagram over here i'll put that in my final work okay the the template will be in there and then here is the contact and then email you can actually place that one also so that people can actually see that so afterwards we have all the tests over here and then i can select all of them Control G and then I'm going to change this to group. Okay, so that is test. That is the group for test. Okay, so finally, I'm going to give you a clue. We don't want to maintain this. All of them have the same color, light, light blue, light blue, light blue. So what you can do is that if you select this, that is the calendar template. So you go to the calendar template group and then we want to select this. This is the first one. Okay, so you can always turn on and off to verify that you are on the right layer now if you come to select the rectangular market tool let me zoom in the more and then you select the rectangular market tool and then you cut off this area you don't necessarily cut it off but i mean you select this area and then you press ctrl u it is going to pop up the hue and saturation for you now if you drag the sliders it is going to give you different colors so let's take this for instance and then you click ok so you can see that this is different from this and that and you did not actually put in so much effort so you can select the second one also and then you make the selection very neatly like that you just have to take your time and then control U, and then you can also drag this let's give it a different color let's go this way all right so there and then you click OK. So you press Ctrl D to deselect. And then over here to you can actually make or give it a different color. So Ctrl U. Actually, let me select that. Ctrl U. And then let's come here. So you want to give it this color. OK. So that is it. If you actually want to add anything to this, uh, it will be at your own creativity level but then the test that we wrote over here has been changed to white so let's get it back to the color that you can see it so calendar design by InnoGraphics, and then your calendar uh, 2019 that is the heading is over here you can actually put your work or your family anything name over here and then your contacts is over here and your calendar it's all set that will be all for now thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and in case you have any questions or suggestions you can leave it in the comment section and then i'll attend to all of them thank you so much for watching i'll get back to you with another video it's innocent here bye